Hello, my name is Sue Smith and I'm a brand ambassador for Do Crafts. I'd like to show you a tie-dye technique to decorate a headscarf, just like this one, sort of pinwheel effect. I'll show you how to do this. First of all, get yourself some white cotton fabric, about 53 centimetres across and a little bit more to allow for seam allowance. And then we're going to ruche up the fabric using a fork. So create a little pleat in the middle and secure the fork over the pleat. And then all you do is twist the fork around and press down so it all gathers up and you keep the pleats flattened. Press the fork down as you twist. Keep going until you incorporate all the edges and then hold that in place with a rubber band tucking in all the corners as you go and then it'll be all ready to add some colour. I'm going to use the Marabou Fashion Spray and I've got a lovely purple colour. I'm going to use quite a lot of the paint so don't be shy and then just spray away all across the top surface apply lots of paint like that and then the second process you could do that now while it's damp or wait I think it might give different effects but we'll find out I've got another plate here and I'm going to use watered down paint as well so I've just got a little bit of water and I'm just going to spray the water a couple of times a few times just to make it nice and watery and then just tip that out onto the plate so you've got a little reservoir of colour and then we're going to pick up our pinwheel and on the underside you can see that it's quite flat because we've pressed down onto the table so that's going to soak up that lovely colour in a sort of different way really as opposed to the top soaks it up quite well as you can see so just add Add a little bit more because I'd like to have more colour than white I think but it's nice to have bits of white showing as well. Okay and then you can leave that overnight preferably which I've done that with this one. So this is going to be exciting because we can unravel it and I haven't unravelled it yet so we can see what lovely pattern we're going to get. So when it's all nice and dry take the rubber band off this one, I've done it exactly like this process without waiting for the top paint to dry. I just wondered, see what effects you, you, I'm going to get this time. So unravel it. So we've got more light colour showing and some white flecks and a few of the purple flecks. Not many purple flecks as in this one, but you can always ruche it up again in a different way and you know paint the top surface again or just have it as it is you never know what you're going to get so it's quite exciting that's what I like about this technique and then to finish off just to give it that extra bit of pattern we're going to incorporate some silver paint and we've got here the artiste silver paint for fabric and we're just going to add that with a brush once it's obviously completely dry. Just going to just brush the top of the crease areas just to give it that little bit of silver shine, adds a bit of texture and interest radiating out there. And then to fix these patterns and the paint, all you do is to iron it on your normal fairly hot iron because it's cotton on the reverse and then that fixes it and it allow it to be washed so go all over with the silver paint and then you can just machine stitch a border around the edge and then you've got your headscarf finished simple effect nice easy technique have a go yourself thank you for watching